Hello fellow YouTubers, Merry Christmas. Wow, it's that time already, it's almost a year gone by, I can't believe it. But I do admit it's been a brilliant year and I've had so much fun making these YouTube videos. My only hope is that you had much fun watching them as well. But today is actually going to be a bit of a quickie. <laughs> Not that type of quickie, but rather kind of telling everybody about the great advantages of being a magician in the everyday world. And to do this, of course, I need a pack of cards which I don't have. This may appear to be a slight disadvantage to some, but not quite. If uh, The great thing about being a magician is you can make your cards appear whenever you want. Over here, of course. And that's the other great thing about being a magician, is misdirection. And so we have the cards, now we need one more thing. An idiot. Oh, wait, sorry, I'm already here, I forgot about that. So now we have those two basic things, we can begin. Another great advantage of being a magician is that you can find certain cards whenever you want, wherever you want. For example, if I wanted to cut to a red ace, let's say um, the ace of diamonds, all we have to do is cut once, twice, and three times, and we should be able to find that very ace of diamonds. Of course, if we wanted to find the ace of hearts to match it, we just have to split that first ace to find the ace of hearts. That's ace number two. Of course, keeping the similar premise of cutting to cards, if we wanted to find, uh, let's say, the Ace of Clubs, all we have to do is cut once, twice, and three times, and we should be able to... Oh. D did I say the Ace of Clubs? Because I actually meant the Eight of Clubs. You could have misheard me a little bit there. <laughs> of course, if you believe that, we'll believe anything. Uh, but the great thing about being a magician is, of course, you can fix your mistakes just by waving your hands over them and changing it like that. For example, the third ace, the ace of clubs. The fourth ace, you've seen many times where the selected card has been placed into the pack and it's risen to the top. Of course, a magician does that by control, and I can control that fourth ace of spades. Watch. Did you see it? So it's kind of bounced to the top. A very light... Oh. Of course, the great thing about being a magician is when you make a mistake, you have some corny line to make up for it. For example, if we take the Queen of Clubs, it's alright, my ladies, man. If we place that Queen into the pack, see how I installed a new keyboard, hard drive pops out, reprogram it, hit the enter button, and now the face comes at very last ace. And that's the final great thing about being a magician. And the another thing, actually, is that not only can you make things appear, but also disappear. I'd like to thank each and every one of you for your everlasting support towards my work along the year. It's been a great inspiration and your constructive words have helped me tremendously. Uh, so just thank you very much guys and have a wonderful celebration. Merry Christmas.